This is Our Zing Podcast by Aya Farahat. Hi, I'm your host, Aya Farahat, and a new episode of Our Zing Podcast, a podcast for our Arab youth, a podcast that will add the Zing to our lives, and much more. Today, we will continue talking about Clifton Strength Assessment and how understanding your strength will help in creating better career choices. So many students choose major based on what their parents want or based on what society is telling them good or stable career. Sure, you might make buckets of cash, but if you are spending 35% of your waking life doing a job you hate, how much money is really worth that type of misery? When you know your own strength, you can make informed decisions about what to study, which career field to pursue, and which job offers to accept, because you are actively choosing to put yourself in a position where you will use your best skills. Our guest tonight is a true example of a person who took the assessment, explored his strength and innate talents, found his new passion and pursued it, an engineer turned coach. And I quote his words, I'm a communications engineer, a life coach, event manager, a sales advocate, and a customer relations service officer. In other words, I'm better with people. Let's welcome Coach Qasem Arafat. Thank you so much for this, Aya, and for the lovely introduction. I'm really happy and grateful for what you guys are doing. It's really nice. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. So, who is Qasem Arafat? Can you tell us more about yourself? Definitely. This question is one of the hardest questions I can ever have in my life because I believe no one can be contained or your identity cannot be contained in one question. But let's just say I'm a person, I'm a human. Let's start with this. I'm a human who is always looking to learn more about himself. And the more I learn, the more I realize that I don't know. The more, the more that I know, the more that I know that I don't know. And as you said, I'm originally an engineer and I turned to a coach and that's based on my awareness and knowledge of myself because every tiny bit of knowledge about yourself can make a life difference for you. So this is me, I guess. I understand. I understand. Yeah. Okay. What a journey there. We are really excited to know more about this journey from engineering to coaching. I mean, what inspired you to take this move? Well, this can be this going to be interesting, but I, I want to be as realistic as possible. So what inspired me are two things. First mm-hmm. one, knowing how much I love coaching and how much I really needed it and how much it fits me perfectly. And the other part, because the knowledge itself did not help me, I needed strong emotions and strong will. And that came from slight depression I used to have because I was far from myself, basically. So I knew about the coaching back in 2012. I was in my fourth year in college. And based on that knowledge, I realized like how much I can be better and can be myself when I'm a coach and how much I'm really far from being an engineer. So I tried this and that for multiple years before I finally like I was feeling so down, but it was the best thing I can ever have in my life. And these bad days before Lilla, it what gave me the energy to remove my shackles and choose myself and become a coach. This is very inspiring, as I said. (laughs) Okay. And then (laughs) you started to help others to know their strengths, right? So, yeah. uh, how was it for high schoolers and college prep students who came looking for answers? Oh, it is definitely uh, life-changing. So, in in general, let let me just give you a slight idea. This assessment doesn't tell you that you are this, you are that, you should be this, you should be that. It does not. It just tells you more information about yourself who is already there but it will just make make sense to you in a way you will understand yourself like for example i'm a person who loves to talk loves to make jokes and loves getting to know new people and all of that and everything and that's nice that's that's okay but before 
when when I'm just being me and being like a teenager in my high school and early years of college, you know, we, we're not the best selves yet. We're still learning, exploring life. So I use these kind of uh, skills that I have and, and getting to know people, talking a bit much and everything, sometimes in wrong places that it was frowned upon and it was, I was told like, dude, you need to chill, you need to calm down, you need to slow talking, you know, talk a little bit less and all of that. And sometimes it's like, wow, dude, you're amazing. You're awesome. How do you do this? This is amazing. So I get confused. Like, should I be this? Should I be that? Should... I'm not sure. So this assessment gave me one of my talents, which was called Woo, W-O-O, which is winning others over. And it tells me as a talent that this is a natural thing to you to break the ice with people. It's natural to you to talk with new people, find new topics and everything. And you enjoy doing so. And that's just natural. So it made sense. Why am I such a talkative person? Why am I doing this all the time? Why am I not like my father? Why am I not like my brother? Why am I not like that? Because I'm like me. And when I have this assessment, it gives you these natural talent points that you have that would make sense. This is why. And that's why I do this. That's why I love that. That's why I don't like that as much. That is why. So it this realization on its own makes a huge difference and a big transition in your understanding of yourself and then understanding of what you can do in life. And this exact reflection I had with my students or clients who are students, because I have a lot of clients who are students in high schools, in early years of college, last years of college, and early graduates, and even employees who are just like, they want to understand themselves. So a lot of my high schoolers uh, and college prep students came looking for answers. This assessment by itself on just understanding these points, it just makes them realize and understand what they already have. It's not something new. It just will start making sense. And it just will reorganize your thoughts about you and how you can use these thoughts to build actually what you're looking for, for the future, for your college, for, for, for your job in general. So it was really inspiring for me. And I'm really happy that it also inspires my high schoolers, students, and all the clients. Perfect. Yeah. This is so nice. Were they boys or girls? The majority uh, that uh, comes uh, to you? That's a good question. Actually, I haven't counted, but actually, I, I mean, get mostly both. boys, mostly girls, uh, 50-50, 60-40. I think, I think, I think it's, it's, a, it's actually interesting because as, as quantity, it's boys, but mm. as deeper, deeper conversation, it's girls. So it's like a quantity like 60-40 with boys, yeah. but the 40% of the girls, we continue even longer journey conversations than just yes. the college. They take everything to the, till the end, yes. <laughs> they take it to the next level, which is amazing, actually, yeah. Okay. What things did you notice? Are there any common things they usually come looking for? A common oh, question or something they all ask it or something? It's what you just said in the introduction. Mm -hmm. What should I work? What is my career? What should I do? I, I, I'm taking this assessment to know what is my choice of college. I want this assessment to give me the answer. And this is the thing that's basically, I noticed all in common that whenever they are at this point, and I'm talking about high schoolers, early graduates, college students, and even employees, the everything in common is whatever that they have chosen or about to choose, it's not really their choice. It's based on their parents, the culture, the community, the need, that's in the community, and that's it. But it's not really what they really want. And that's actually natural. I mean, it's 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 not okay, but it's the natural giving our situations in life and, and how we are raised and our culture, Arabic culture, we are always looking for what's the culture need? What is the most thing that's needed in this country? What is the most needed as a worker these days? Oh, engineering is the best thing. It has a lot of work, a lot of money income in the future. You will be rich when you go out. This is what we want. We want to be rich. Yes. But this, what, which sadly is the truth, but it's sadly, it's the, the false, ugly truth. It's not right. 
the real truth is is mm-hmm. you being yourself and then build on it what you really want and this is what they all have in common they're just coming with an agenda before of uh, an expectation that matches what their parents our community or culture is expecting from them and they want to know how to do it how can it be that how can i apply for that career mm. so they go to the next level where they actually need to ask the first place what is it that you want this is the first thing and you want to understand is your answer based on your desire or is it based on expectation from the outside yes yeah yeah they feel they don't belong that's why they came in the first place ah oh, yes definitely and that's a very good sign not belonging it's a, a very ugly feeling sometimes and it's really sometimes it's saddening but it is a very good feeling it means that your subconscious is realizing that this is not who you are not what you want it's just a matter of time that you listen to your inner thoughts and go to a coach go to someone who can support you with this okay great yeah. so let's know more about the experience after they took the clifton strength assessment were there any aha moments there definitely a lot of them um mm-hmm. some some of them i remember this like last week i had a, a high school student she was like this is so scary i say like why is it It's like living with me. Just, I told her like this result is just indicates of what's happening within your brain and how you're not sure to do things. It says she says like it's so scary how it really is so much matching what's what I'm not saying out loud. And mm-hmm. it's just like I don't like okay, so what does that tell you? And she's like I'm not really expressive of enough how or what I want because I'm afraid maybe to upset my parents. Maybe it's not maybe i i have high gpa and of course in arabic culture as you know high gpa is either yes. a, a doctor or an engineer that's it nothing more but with high gpa i really love fashion i really love like a uh, translation i really love whatever but this made me realize like i have it in me and i i can do that but it's not expressive enough because i'm afraid to disappoint because i'm building my desires and my future on expectations that are not mine and with that expectation i'm telling you there is going to be a disappointment even worse than your past disappointment is yourself disappointment that you can do more and with these aha moments they realize like oh Mm-hmm. And 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 this aha moment can bring a lot of questions after that, which is okay because in a coaching session, this is what I'm here for. Yeah, uh, this I'm, is I'm a here successful to, to, one. Yeah. Exactly. I'm here mm-hmm. to embrace this chaos that's coming to life, because this is, I call it an organized chaos, because you are in your own storm inside, but it's now getting clearer. It's just you are getting, but in order to get it organized, you need to get in there. And mm-hmm. as a coach, my job is to give you the safety to go there without telling you what to do or what not to do. You need to explore this on your own. I'm just holding the safety cable for you, not to get inside too deep. I just to guide you. This is yeah. so nice. Okay. <laughs> so, let's say I want to take the assessment right now. Can you walk us through the process? What should I do? Where should I go? So with where I work at CoReach usually the process it goes as you communicate with with the admin we send you a link a link that has the assessment you 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 click on the link it takes you to the website directly which is the gallup.com and you are directed to do the assessment and it shows you like what language do you want um enter the name age and all of that some information like any other website and then what you want to do and i always tell this to my client prior to taking the assessment i tell them like make sure when you take the assessment you take 25 to 35 minutes alone with no disruptions at all and when you're feeling good you're not overwhelmed with with excitement you're not overwhelmed with anger you're not overwhelmed with any kind of feeling you're just natural you're just like feeling okay normal and because you have the assessment itself 
is 177 questions and each question you have only 20 seconds to answer and the funny thing is these questions are not right or wrong they're all scenario based situations based on your own preference for example as this it just says i prefer to the extreme left learning information from the books or to the extreme right learning information from people and and direct communication so either you are the extreme left or the extreme right or leaning towards the right or leaning towards the left or right in the middle which is neutral it's either both or neither so you have only 20 seconds to answer all of these questions so the reason is for this to happen because if you are given more time than 20 seconds you will take more time to analyze the answer maybe i'm this with the school i'm this with my parents but when i was this at work when i do but when you have 20 seconds only your instincts just take the seat and take the you know take the drive and this is what we want we want your instinct because your instinct is the natural way of your behavior your thinking your answer your first reaction and this is the instinct that you want to build and understand to build on it because the instinct is your natural talents is the talents if you invest it in a good way it should become your strongest suit ever and you can choose whatever you want so whenever you take the link you start doing the assessment take 25 to 35 minutes of no disruption alone because there is no pause or stop or anything and just turn off your phone and I would recommend using uh, a tablet or a screen better than just a phone because you want to have more comfort reading the question. Yes. Yeah, and, and once you're done, when you finish the all questions, you will have a direct report generated I- immediately after that. It tells you your top, your top talents. You can read them briefly and explore them. And then you can book a session to have explore even deeply. It's yes, like, oh, what is okay. this happening? What does that happen? All of that to give you answers behind what's written. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is great. Okay. At the end of our episode tonight, what would you like to say to our young listeners out there? Ah, uh, this can take a lot of time, but I will try to make it short. And I and I want to say it as realistic and as compassionate as possible. Life is not as easy, but life is not as hard. Life has challenges and it always will be, but doesn't mean that we cannot enjoy it and have fun overcoming these challenges. And life is full of mysteries, a lot of unknowns, a lot of uncontrollable stuff out of our control, which we cannot do anything about. But there's one thing you can always do about which is yourself and the best thing you can do for yourself and your next steps start from knowing yourself i urge every single one of us keep learning and knowing more about you first because once you know yourself more and you will never ever reach the limit like oh i know myself and that's it no matter how much you learn about yourself there's always more but the more you know the more of yourself, the more you know how you can handle things. The more you can handle things, the more challenges will come, the easier it gets. And even if they were difficult, the more fun it might get. That way, actually life will have more sense. It will have more clarity. Challenges won't be difficult as much because you only have to overcome it, but when you know yourself and you know what you need to do and what you have, it will make it like a fun kind of challenge. And listen to your feelings. If you really feel, really feel deeply that this is not where you belong and this is really not there and you really know what you know or you don't know, but you just know that this is the wrong path, this is the half truth. You need to discover the other half by exploring yourself. So just It's okay not to feel okay sometimes. You just need to listen to yourself, know more, and then act upon that. And if you ever get overwhelmed, that's completely okay. We all do, we all have. It's just a matter of 
take a deep breath, take a step back, just realize, try to see the learnings, know more about yourself. And if you cannot do that, this is what our coach is for. And I will be happy to help. Yeah, I hope this was a small summary. It was really nice. It all starts by knowing ourselves and it, it really ends by knowing ourselves. It's all about yeah. knowing yourself. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Coach Qasim, for such an amazing talk. Um, it's Thank really, you. it was a pleasure, pleasure having you today. Thank you so much, Aya. I'm really happy that you that you hosted me today. I'm really glad what you're doing for the youth. It's really important. And it's really for the best for all of us, for the youth, for the common generations, for our lives in general. Because life is not getting easier, but that does not mean that we cannot get smarter, stronger, and happy with it. So thank you for doing this. Thank you. Thank you all for tuning in. And I wish you all a career you love faster. Understanding your strength can do this for you too. This was Aya Farahat. Till we meet again with another zing. Our zing.